But then again, I probably need the perfect jump to... ...to save some time as well. Going well. Alright, I made it across 59-21. I guess I'll make a save at this point. Because I really, really want to save every single second I can. Let's see. I guess I could do that downhill. Alright, now let's do that for real. <laughs> what? No, I don't want to do random switch attacks. Fifty-nine minutes, so I'm two minutes faster than on my previous attempt, as I get to the ballista. This might be enough. Might be enough. To finally finish, finish off this beast. Another thing I noticed, whenever I resume, there's like... I can basically press X a little earlier than I think. Alright, that wasn't... I'll practice the timing, just to get even these seconds. Alright, and so the saves coming of the Hydra begins. gonna be a long, long two hours.
I basically lose half a second every time I retry, if my timing isn't good. Lose half a second of focused fire. In the end I can't say how tight it will be. Like it even... Even played perfectly, it's gonna be very tight. I can't really be certain if I get everything out of these. I think these like when he when the hider becomes vulnerable, I need to min-max these parts as efficiently as I can. But it's kinda hard since this but this arbalest is slightly glitchy and a lot of the bullets are invisible. have a decent idea on where the reticle is, regardless. Yeah, that's another proof of how this arbalest is somewhat glitchy. Even the fireballs shot by the hydra are invisible sometimes. I can't really see them, but I do know they're coming. I'm not sure if that is entirely optimal, like, I, it's hard to tell in advance when the hider becomes vulnerable. So I lose a few, I lose a second of focused fire by sort of having to react to it. So I think you could do it slightly more efficiently. With even more saves coming. Saves coming when you know the uh, the weakened part is coming up, and then you know when to react to it. All right, nice. He did the uh, random atmosphere atmospheric motion. Have a bit of extra time to shoot at it. Or maybe the Hydra always does that animation when you reduce it. When you reduce it to one health bar, I should uh, take note of that.
First Hydra is almost dealt with. Oh no, it became vulnerable right as it shot the fireballs. I want to take everything out of the weakened phase, so I'm not gonna... Uh, I will try doing that again, but I will shoot it slightly less to get the weakened part on the next cycle. Technically every single time I save scum I do lose like a half a second since there is a short time when I can't shoot at the Hydra after loading. So being efficient with save scumming is also uh, something that saves, gives you more, some more seconds of focus fire, maybe a minute during the entire attempt. Since I do save and load a lot. I mean, save scumming helps in Hydra, even even when you play through the game normally after completing chapter 2. Save scumming helps in the sense that you only have one Yashia Ori. And it, it, is, it is possible to get it too damaged, so that it blows up if you're not careful. And save scumming can help avoid that. But I mean, this is a whole new, whole different level of arduous saves coming. Alright, that's one.
52 minutes and what? Seven heads. Alright, so since, hey Asma, since the developers never intended you to beat the level like this, I think the Hydra, Hydra right in front of you glitches up. And it sort of, like it disappears and reappears and it's invulnerable when it's doing this. So to be efficient with my shooting, I need to sort of time time when I focus on the one right in front of me to not shoot at it when it's invulnerable like I think this also wasted a lot of a lot of time I could have been firing and doing damage on my previous attempts so yeah I gotta squeeze everything out Gotta squeeze everything out of these Hydra animations. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work out. But yeah, I should be like two minutes ahead of my previous attempt. Once again, it became stunned at a wrong time. Do you see anime? I watched a few series back in the day, but I don't really actively... I don't actively watch anime in general. Like, it's... it can be fun every once in a while. This time it went a bit better. <laughs> that was pretty good. Saves coming of the Hydra can continue. It's gonna be really tight, no matter what. At 
the the Hydra behind the Hydra at the back is more important than the one in the like out of the two side Hydras that I try to soften up the one at the back is more important because it is the second to second to last Hydra at least if the Hydras will if the Hydras will die and respawn in the same order it will be the second to last Hydra and I want it to have as little HP as possible I wanted to have as little HP as possible, much less than on my previous attempt. On the previous attempt, it still had like... It, it hadn't lost too much. So that one... Oh no, well, I guess I'll focus on... Actually, it might be efficient to ye even take everything out of these stun phases. Like, even when some no secondary head gets stunned, I should do my best to focus on it. No, the timing isn't good. I think I'm gonna only focus on that head that is about to get stunned. Alright, so I'm gonna take everything out of the stunnedness. If I can. Oh, come on. Well, uh, better than nothing. Better than not getting any damage in at all. I think it's... it's okay. It's better than on my previous attempt, for sure. The fact that I think about optimizations like this. It's not perfect, but it's better, and the, just being better might be enough. Nice. Almost time for super armor. Uh, I think I wasted too many seconds there. I shot the Hydra when it was invulnerable for like three seconds. It's, it's pretty sloppy. I'm not sure how many hits the Arbalest can take. I think I should... I think I should, like... Take... I, I should start tanking hits at the very end of the fight.
Like, the health should come in handy at the very end. But not necessarily... Not as much before. Whenever I reload, there's a short period of time when the Hydra is invulnerable. So if I start tagging hits, I need to... I have to... I don't have to save scum as much. Which means it's uh, better to save it for the very last Hydra. Yeah. At least I have some sort of a plan. I'm not sure if it works, but I do have a plan. I should probably uh, put my allies out. Just in case, since... Since some enemies may reappear at some point. May appear at some point. So they can sort of fend them off a little bit. I think I'll just... Alright, so there are a few enemies and my Ballista is still at full health. That's good to know. So things are going according to the plan. Pretty much, so far. After the Hydra gets the super armor, it no longer becomes stunned as well. So that's pretty... that's unfortunate. I can barely deal any damage with the super armor, but that's how it is. That's how it will be. Like, is the Hydra vulnerable at all at the very start? If it isn't... <coughs> if it isn't... <coughs> Alright, it is vulnerable, but it is vulnerable only for a very short period of time. Until it re like despawns. Might be better to save that time by focusing on these other guys.
All right. It became stunned again. I think I'll do that again. Get the better, get better damage out of it. I'll only focus on that head. No, it's kind of difficult. Difficult to only focus on that head. I don't know, it's not optimal. <coughs> but I don't know how you could make it more optimal. Unless I focused on some other heads. But the ones, the heads on the right are a little bit far away. So it feels like I, I can't get full damage if I try to soften them up while waiting. <laughs> On my previous attempt, I believe I was five heads at exactly 30 minutes or something like that. So we'll see how it goes. There's no way this is gonna be a speedrunning tactic, other than possibly low percents. I wonder if there's a degree of randomness to when the Hydra becomes stunned. Like, that might be another thing you, you could maybe save scum. Probably not to a significant degree though.
All right, this head is almost almost dead. Just one more one more cycle, I believe. Nice. Six Hydra heads. So I'm at f 41 minutes, six Hydra heads. Taking me a little less than 10 minutes per head. But then I do have a two banged up heads in the background too. So the actual number of defeated heads is one thing, but I'm, I've also dealt a lot of chip damage to the uh, few other ones. Oh no, well, that was, that was a time waste. So I could have taken a little bit more, I could have squeezed a little bit more damage out of that stun. Oh, that was such a waste of time. I shot at it while invulnerable, maybe 5 seconds. And I don't want to waste a second if I can help it. Should become stunned, <coughs> stunned at some point. 
some point pretty soon. Oh, Alright, it shot the fireball, so I need to be aware of that. It, it is about to get stunned. Alright, I guess I'll save there. It should get stunned as after I resume. <laughs> so yeah, I, pre last time I was 30 minutes, 5 heads. Seems like I'm ahead, somewhat. If I'm gonna run out of time by like a few seconds, I'm gonna be... I'm not gonna be happy. I could have maybe gotten more damage out of that, but... Oh well. Basically the head at the front takes priority, after that the he head on the left at the very back, after that the head to the left to the front, If I, whenever I can just deal damage to these guys, that's the order. It's a pity the uh, the head in the front, on the left, often blocks the view. So I can really only do this in one order.
five minutes to get rid of one more head. So that I can break even. But I should be ahead. Oh no. Failed to get on the arbalest. But then again, I have done more damage to the head at the back. So, in that sense I might be ahead. In that sense, uh, these two attempts might be slightly incomparable. Oh no. It got stunned. I'll need to take it I'll need to take that into account. I should uh I will only focus on this head if it gets stunned. Not perfect, but better than better than it was before. Yeah, it seems like the Hydra will always do that little special animation whenever it uh, goes below one health bar. So I have six heads, two of them are pretty banged up. So I am still a few minutes ahead compared to the previous previous attempts. Hopefully I can make up a bit more time with better shooting as well. Right. Thirty-eight 
32 minutes. Hey, Broncats. I think I've wasted a few seconds there. So I believe I was 30 minutes, 6, um, 30 minutes, 5 heads. I uh, can't remember what it was 4 heads though. <laughs> so to anyone joining in oh the hydra is uh, one of the final bosses you're supposed to defeat it actually I I wasted a lot of time there, I shot the Hydra when it was invulnerable, so I'm gonna take do that a little bit. I'm gonna do that a little better. All right, wasted again. So basically, you're not supposed to defeat this boss with the Arbalest. It's something of a joke weapon, but with the power of saves coming, there is a small chance that it's possible. So I'm just gonna see if uh, if it is even if you can really do it. But it is a long, monotonous task. I always save and save and resume to prevent taking damage. So I can continue you continue using the joke weapon indefinitely. This is my third attempt. The two previous attempts failed because I ran out of level time. Since you only have one in-game time hour to do this, and it's it was really close, and this time I should be like two minutes ahead. So there's there is a small chance, but it is quite a grueling Quite a grueling challenge, regardless. And if it works, it means there exists a different new speedrunning routes, low percent. Five Hydra heads. Thirty-two 
30 minutes, 5 heads. This is actually the same as before, although I do believe the Hydra at the back is more damaged, so I should still be ahead. Would be, I mean, at some point, when you keep defeating enough fighter heads, they will all get a super armor. I'm not sure if it would be worth it to really to soften up some of the background heads some more. It would be hard to really do that from this angle, though. Since uh, the Hydras take double damage when you shoot at their head. You can't really aim for the head from here. You can only hit the head of a few select Hydras from this distance. Alright, so after I defeat this one, do the remaining Hydras get the super armor? If they do, that's kind of unfortunate. Like, I can't well hit those, uh, the ones at the back from here, other than maybe do a very small amount of chip damage. Yeah, now all of the Hydras have armor. I guess I could try weakening that one up. Let me see if it could work out. Like, if I just turn around, aim at the head, I'm gonna look at what damage I do. Doesn't look like I'm doing any damage. Yeah, it looks like that Hydra is completely out of reach, at least. And that, well, maybe that one too. Yeah, I guess it can't really be helped. I can't target those two Hydra heads. So my best bet is to just weaken this one up. I mean, I guess you could... You could change ballistas so that you could get closer to those two heads. But, when you think about it, it would be like a big detour. Like, it would be a massive detour to go around the level. Which would also waste a lot of time. I'm not sure if it would be better than having to fight the Hydras with super armor, though. Because it's, guess it's something to consider. But this will be the super armor route. I will see if there is, uh, if there realistically can ever be enough time to do this.
the super armor is really preventing me from doing almost any damage to them. So it's a real slog trying to take, trying to get rid of the remaining ones. Four heads with super armor. Twenty six minutes. It's gonna it's gonna be really tight. If it's possible at all. The hardest battle in the entire game, but it's the, really the clock that is your enemy, not the Hydra. Did I have less? Did I? Uh, I kind of remember having only three Hydra heads with super armor on the previous attempt. Did I do something wrong? Only five minutes. Oh no. Two of them are stunned at the same time. That that's not good. I should focus on one or the other. I need to take everything out. Need to utilize those weakened moments as well as I can.
him off in. It's an arbalest, according to the game. You have the ballista in the prologue, but in this stage, uh, you have three arbalests. I d I think that's how the game puts it. But yeah, ballista go go pew pew for for an one hour. Twenty three minutes. Twenty three minutes. I have four heads, two of which are kind of slightly banged up. So yeah, if this works and it's possible to defeat the Hydra without completing Chapter 2, it, it opens a unique low percent speedrunning category, which no one will want to run because it involves two, two hours real time at firing at the Hydra with an Arbalest. Oh no, I wasted a, I wasted a lot of time there. I got the Hydra stunned, but then I forgot to aim away. The Hydra is invulnerable as it's as it's despawning or respawning. So I use that time to soften up the other heads. Alright. That was more efficient. I'm unloading quite a lot of these bolts at the Hydra. Ah, I'm fumbled with the buttons. This is really like a death of a thousand cuts. Except like... From a million, million cuts rather. million bolts that barely do and anything but what can you do if you don't have the Yashiori laser beam Our team still doesn't really know shoot and dodge, so story-wise, it's understandable. Twenty one minutes for four heads with super armor, of which three have had some damage. I don't know. It's gonna be so tight.
Two of the heads are kinda banged up. Two of the heads are nearly full health, I would say. Full health or nearly full. I believe it's this head that will end up being the final one. This one on the left. So it's help helpful to get it to uh, very low health until before it happens. I was so close to winning the Hydra last time, but then when the time runs out, your team just randomly decides it's lunch hour. They're not gonna work overtime, even if the Hydra is right, right about to die. Let's hope I can get the Hydra d done today, w before the launch hour starts. If this doesn't work out, then I'm gonna have to look into switching the Ballista. Switching the Ballista before defeating uh, four heads. So that I can soften up the remaining Hydra heads that are still to the side. I can soften up the Hydra Heads on the right side, if I do so, although it will require a bit of navigation and maybe infinite jumping. It is a small time, time loss at its own right. Yeah, I think... I think I can... O I don't think I do uh, critical damage to the head at the far left from here. It only takes like pitiful chip damage. Yeah, if I switched, if I switched to the arbalest on the right, I could soften up two heads. So I would basically have I would get to this point in the fight. Uh, I wasted a waste of time. I got got to this point in the fight with. Basically, uh, three banged up Hydras instead of just two sort of banged up.
So whichever Hydra I choose, it's gonna be cheap damage. Other than the uh, the one on the left that is a bit closer, that one gets full damage. If you aim well. So from this point of view I can reach two of the Hydras for full damage. I can reach two for chip damage. So my priority should be on the uh, the head in front of me, since I can only do inconsistent chip damage to the one on the left. If I really wanted to save Scum, my way out of this situation, I would save every few seconds, so that I can keep shooting at the Hydra in front. before it becomes invulnerable, like this. And this way I don't have to deal with chip damage, I can deal direct damage all the time. Don't have to settle for chip damage, yeah. But this seems like a pretty desperate measure. I mean, I, I think it, it would make victory more certain though, so why wouldn't I want to use it? Other than it makes makes this process even more unbearably unbearably monotonous and long in real time. It's a pity the game has that glitch where the Hydra disappears and appears since it is invulnerable, preventing di direct damage. I guess I can skip the uh, respawning animation by doing this. I hope. Oh, uh, no, I, I don't skip it. A fresh, healthy head. I really don't want to take any chances though. Should I go for the ultimate saves coming tactic? Eighteen minutes to go, three heads. Saves coming intensifies.
in a hypothetical low percent speedrun you would only do this save scumming v2 tactic uh, knowing exactly how much time there will be on the clock like how many save scums is this I think the game will actually crash when I save and reload too many times so that might make like a physical limit to your save scumming antics For at least yesterday when I was streaming, the game crashed after I had like done two full attempts at this. Oh no. Fumbled with buttons. Not very fun, I know. But it's all for science. The first few seconds of the background music is gonna get stuck up to your head. Da, 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 da. A lot of choir. Epic choirs to accompany this most epic of battles. Sixteen fourteen. Like, is this efficient? Like, in real time, it obviously isn't efficient. But I, I would still think this is a better way to deal damage to the super armor Hydra than waiting for it to despawn and respawn. This, this this way you can deal direct damage as minuscule as it is This is pretty intolerable. Three heads, fifteen, uh, sixteen minutes. <coughs> Should be doable, but it will get take ages. It's especially if I do this. At least this level has a fairly l quick loading time. Oh 
All right. And then it then it disappears as usual. Like I'm I'm playing very dirty. The game This is not intended on any level. You're not supposed to use the Arbalest, the joke weapon on the Hydra. The game is bugging out, so I also have to amp up my game, so to speak. With increasingly cheap save scums. Alright, collectively, collectively the Hydras only have... Two plus one and a half plus one health bars. We'll get there. A part of me wishes I had started doing this sooner. That would ensure I have enough time, because if I run out of time at the end of all this... Like, that's... That's just heartbreaking. I... Like, I already feel like I never want to attempt this again. If this is a real thing, I wouldn't want to do a low percent speedrun, because it would be terrible. It would be a three hour run. Most of which would be saves coming. Like, who would want to do this? Who who would want to watch it? It would be like a meme category. Something to scare the children with. The worst part is that there's always like a half a second, half seconds that I lose in in focused fire every time I load. So how long have I been chipping away at this at a single life bar now? In game time wise, I think it's been like three minutes. No, it can't be that much. I think I started. Didn't I start doing this when it was at full health and the clock was 16 minutes or so? So in game time wise, I should get rid of a single health bar in. In maybe four minutes, three to four minutes. So if there's like four health bars remaining, it should take 12 minutes in game time and I should have enough time to do it. But it's hard to say.
I guess the, uh, the the composers went and ordered an actual choir to do these parts. It sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Although in case of the uh, the main menu intro, like this music, like it's it's curious. I don't know any other game where the main menu music lasts like eight seconds. <laughs> It's literally like a very, very, very short loop. Kind of makes you think that uh, they only had the budget to do uh, 8 seconds of choir, so they <laughs> they then just put it on loop. But no, that can't be the case. They use choirs to a good effect in a few other songs as well. Fourteen, 14.26 <coughs> Like, if I'm gonna run out of time after all of this, it's gonna be so... ...nauseatingly awkward and unpleasant. It would mean I would have to retry and I would have to do this version of the saves coming much more. To ensure I have the time. Since I have I have been playing a bit fast and loose. With the less intensive saves coming. Alright, so it should be like two or two and a half minutes in game time per a life bar. If I'm not completely wrong. Yeah, alright. Let me do that again. It should do the reaction animation any second now. Gives me a little bit more time to shoot. But no, that wasn't it. Let's see, one health bar, one health bar, almost two health bars, so it's a little under four health bars that the are these Hydras collectively have.
it should get stunned some point soon. So that's something to break the monotony a little bit. Like, I think this should be possible. But just because it's possible doesn't mean that you should do it. Poor Hydra, didn't know what hit him. I save scum so much that it's sort of like in a permanent state of confusion. It barely has time to notice that, ouch, some small needles are flying at my face before I'm already gone, having saved and reset. Fumbled with the buttons. If this was a speedrun, a low percent speedrun, you would have a lot of different tactics, some of, some of which are good for in-game time and some of which are good for real time. But you can't really have both. And it's gonna be really slow and arduous either way, like a large optimization puzzle. Like what is the fastest way to drain the health from all of these heads? I'm starting to think that the the super armor is a massive problem. It it basically like makes your progress twice slower than it should be. So it, so it might be worth it to change the Ballista. Change the Arbalest to soften up the heads a little bit more efficiently all around the area. Before you finally uh, defeat enough heads to activate the permanent super armor. Like, maybe defeat two heads at this Ballista, and then 
infinite jump or run or whatever to the other other side of the area. And then defeat two heads over there. Like I think that what might be the uh actually optimal way to do this instead of safe scumming a billion times. But hey, this is a this is like a work in progress. I still don't even know if this does anything. I still don't know if this works. By all logic it should work. I think the scripting in this level is the same as in all the later later versions that have Yashio Ori. So there should be victory dialogue, there should be progress. I'm not sure if... did was shoot and dodgy in the ending? Are we gonna see shoot and dodgy, although I never even met him in the, in the story? I mean, it seems like a, something of a plot hole if I do defeat the Hydras with only the Arbalests. The Hydra should still have one more weakened face. Mm, sometime soon. Speaking of low percent, Like, the way I'm doing this, I infinite jumped here to the third ballista. In a pure low percent, I'm not sure how early, how early on you can actually access this level. Like, is it as soon as... Is it as soon as uh, completing the prologue, or... You first have to complete chapter 1. There's some nice time to <laughs> ban people, ban people in the chat when doing all the saving and quitting. Yeah, I shouldn't take any chances. It seems like it's like four three to four minutes per health bar with this ultimate save scumming tactic so it would be like I only have a few minutes to spare in the end at this rate despite everything Hopefully I have a few minutes to spare at the end, 
Because if I don't, it's a... Uh, well, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. What? I don't even want to think about what would happen if I once again run out of time. So with optimal saves coming, and it's 3 minutes in-game time to defeat a single health bar, and you have 8 Hydras with 2 life bars each. Sixteen, 16 times 3 minutes to shoot down the Hydra. Of course, uh, the early Hydras don't have the super armor, which changes things a little bit. But still it is way over 40 minutes. Should be way over 40 minutes, even if you do a, a single extended fire of direct damage to the Hydra with the Arbalest. So yeah, I started at 14 minutes chipping away at this health bar. It's around 11 minutes now, so it's 3 minutes per super armored life bar. More or less. Almost got him. Now I, th I probably should save scum past the Hydras, like despawning and respawning animations as well. Since it is, it does save a few seconds. Hopefully it doesn't like bug out in some rare way that prevents one of the Hydras from appearing. Now that would be weird. Two Hydra heads remaining. And there we go. So I believe this Hydra should have quite a lot of health. So it might take like 6 to 5 minutes. 5 to 6 minutes to get rid of it. Well, maybe around 5 minutes. 
And then the final Hydra doesn't have that much health, fortunately. And then I am victorious. Maybe. If the level scripting allows it, I am victorious. I wouldn't wish this low percent run on my worst enemies. Five minutes in game time for this Hydra. Maybe three minutes for the last one. So I should be comfortably at a few extra minutes, two extra minutes maybe. So yeah, this is what my life has become. Shooting at the Hydra with an Arbalest. For over two hours. While looking at loading screens. Still has so much health. But the end is end is inside. Not too long now. And I hit the nine minute mark. So I basically shoot at the Hydra 
four, three or four seconds at a time with the saves coming v2 tactic. It's quite inhumane. <laughs> so collectively these these two hydra should have like 2.2 health bars or thereabouts So a low percent run would at the very least, I think it would at the very least be three hours long. Since you would have, you would have 40 minutes or so of gameplay to get the infinite jumpers. At least if you use the same route, ah, damn it. At least if you use the same route that I've been using and you want to infinite jump to the third ballista early, you need to play What? It didn't get stunned. You need to play to le chapter 2, at the very least. Hmm. So yeah, there is a slight degree of randomness with, with the Hydra getting stunned. It's kind of curious. Oh, I'm waste, just wasting time. Actually, the time isn't even that essential, I think. Should have a spare seconds. Should have seconds to spare. So yeah, I'm just min-maxing. Min-maxing somewhat unnecessarily. Yeah, in a hypothetical low percent run, you would have some normal gameplay at the start for maybe 30 or 40 minutes, I would say. Then you would have two and a half hours of slaying the Hydra, save scumming the Hydra. So it would be even it would be much longer than some of the any percent categories.
8 minutes. I should be at 5 minutes when this Hydra goes down. I suppose you could do this without the infinite jumpers, but you would have to save scum even more to have enough time. Since I started this process at 59 minutes, any additional minutes that you take reaching the arbalest will have to uh, be save scummed to save compared to any of the uh, tactics that save real time. Like, this is unbelievably boring. <sighs> I like to think I have a... slightly higher than average capacity... for tolerating boredom. Being a glitcher and all, but... Like, two hours of this is... it is uh, slightly, like... slightly worrisome. I don't think I managed to get full damage on it, but what can you do? Good thing the Ballista has infinite ammo. Any type of a mechanical limit and this level would be impossible.
I really don't have a whole lot of extra time to spare. Alright, like I said, I, I project this Hydra Head will be dead at 5 minutes. Then I'm not sure how much health the final Hydra has. I think it should be around one health bar. It got pretty banged up from all the passive damage. From all the chip damage.
I might be a little bit ahead of time. I'm not sure. I might got I might get this head done before five minute mark. Three unlikely heroes and an arbalist. You would imagine Zuo C gave gave them the idea to save scum. Since he is the reality warping mystic or what have you. So I guess it's like Zuo C Zuo C got the idea to save Scum. Alright, game crashed. Oh well. Zuo C got the idea to save Scum. Ayane sits at the helm of the ballista. Yukimura was on, only taken along for his infinite jumping skills. But yeah, if you save and load too many times, the game doesn't really like it. I'll have to reload the game. In the low, low percent category that crashes the game when you try to do it optimally. I don't know. Maybe it's some memory leak. Alright, back to business. Back to the saves coming. It is what we are here for. So 
So this category might be literally impossible without resetting the console because of the crash. If this works, I might just upload this whole whole stream as a highlights on YouTube. I mean, it's this is not interesting to watch, but no one else has ever done it before, I think. So it can be useful in that way to some desperate soul on the internet. Equally desperate. Alright, just one more reload. This Hydra head is gone. And then the final battle against the final Hydra head. Alright, I'm gonna save and reload to skip these messages. The Hydra head is blue. Should I be concerned? Like, it still does take damage. But it's like super, super hyper armor. Uh, I really hope I'm not about to run out of time. I really hope I have enough time, because I don't want to do all of this again, even with, with even more saves coming. Alright, it still keeps disappearing and appearing, as expected, so the sa same tactic works as before. So it only has one life bar, but thanks to the hyper armor, it's really hard to say how long this will take. Hmm. Like, it might take... ...too long, hopefully not. Like, I, I can barely see any effect from the fire. The game threw one last curveball at me. So how to deal with this? I would I would have have to deal more passive damage to this Hydra, so... In the end, I was in the right to try damaging this Hydra to the side. However... Yeah, I... I think there was like... It could have been done more efficiently, like, if the only purpose is to do chip damage to this Hydra in particular. You would want to do that... You would want to do that... After getting rid of the, uh, the other Hydra in the front. Uh, 
sweet, sweet damage. I wonder if it, there will be any other weakened points. Probably not. Five minutes. <sighs> Come on, game. So you will want to manipulate the final Hydra to have as little health as possible. But the, f but the one Hydra in front prevents doing cheap damage. So you would basically want to do the cheap damage tactic after you have already defeated... Like... No, it wouldn't work out. No, at that point, if you naturally just keep defeating the Hydra on the front, eventually, after the, uh, the, the, oh, I fumbled with buttons, the Hydra that is to the left and front, by the time it gets to the front, uh, forefront, I think the Hydras would already have super armor. Which means the cheap damage tactic wouldn't be that helpful. It's hard to say. I'm sure there is a way to do this. Like, if this fails, that doesn't mean there isn't a way to do it. But it's... it's not... F it's not nice, no matter what. I'm so gonna run out of time, aren't I? I can see like half a millimeter disappear with every uh, second of shooting. Like if nothing else, if nothing else works, even more saves coming would be the answer. Because saves coming, while very slow in real time, it helps save in-game time. That's the whole point. Besides avoiding damage, the main point. The other main point is to save, save some time. Alright, the Hydra is halfway, halfway there. Four minutes, half a health bar, hyper, super armor. Could go either way.
Could go either way. Like, I had the uh, other idea of changing Ballista to be able to soften up other Hydra Heads before they get the super armor. Alright, nice. He gets a bit of stunned, stunning time. Alright, I should have enough time. I am more confident now, although there is only 4 minutes remaining. Like, if the softening up tactic wouldn't work, then this might very well be the optimal way to defeat the Hydra. If I'm just... if I manage to do this with, uh, like, just a few seconds remaining, then it is a pretty optimal performance with this tactic. Of course, it is more efficient. The more damage you can do to the Hydras without the super armor, the better. The final battle. Three thirty three remaining. <sighs> it is it is slightly stressful. I don't wanna see another Hydra in my lifetime. when I'm done with this.
Well, my original... My original assessment wasn't too far off. I figured I would have two minutes to spare. Unless the game still throws yet another curveball at me after... After I defeat this final Hydra Head. Alright, one more reload, possibly, and then it's over, question mark. No, still one more. Waiting with bated breath. No, no special victory dialogue or anything. <laughs> Time, 57 minutes. Record. Into the fire is now available. All right. Alright, so, as you can see, I still haven't really done much in Chapter 2. <sighs> I just defeated the damn Hydra with the Arbalest. And I can enter into the fire. Not bad. So, a low percent run is possible. If you wanna... If you wanna torment yourself with three hours of saves coming, 